My Little Pony the Movie, the Junior Novel. Chapter 11. Please! A long-necked vendor cried out as a storm creature smashed her booth. I don't know anything! The storm creatures tore across the main plaza of Kluge Town with no regard for the destruction they were causing to the vendor booths. They had strict orders to do anything in their power to find the wretched purple princess pony who had escaped back in Canterlot. Villagers screamed and darted away, frightened by the growls and ferocity that punctuated the massive soldiers' movements. Tempest Shadow trotted stoically behind them. This side trip was a mere inconvenience to her. All she had to do was find the princess and get back to Canterlot. It wouldn't be difficult. That Twilight Sparkle was weak. Tempest just knew it. Oh, I wouldn't underestimate Twilight Sparkle. She's actually very strong. In magic and in smarts. You really think the ponies got this far? Grubber asked, walking alongside his master and munching on an apple tart. He was constantly eating. Tempest narrowed her eyes and stopped in her tracks. She noticed a bright pink strand of pony hair caught in a jagged piece of wooden fence. Oh, they're here. This confirmation was all they, wait, wait, was all she needed. Attention! Tempest called out, her voice strong and even. A little purple pony passed this way. Tell me where she is, or something real bad's gonna happen, Grubber added. The bite of the apple tart he took right after didn't really, we really didn't do much to make him seem intimidating. You think we're gonna fall for this again? The giant blue fish man who had been told he had the dreaded pastellus coloritis stepped forward. Obviously, despite what he'd been told, the beast still had all of his parts. He frowned. I don't know what kind of scam you're, you're working with Capper and the rest of your friends, but Tempest cut him off. Friends? She had assumed the little purple pony was working alone. See, I told you Twilight Sparkle wasn't alone, Tempest. She has her friends. Poison or no poison, you're gonna pay. The fish man came at Tempest, thrusting his fishy fist at her muzzle. She snapped into action, ducking his punch. Tempest shot into the air, grabbing the fin that had, mere, that had nearly caught her muzzle. Then she swung the massive beast down to the ground with a giant crash. The fish man groaned in pain. Oh, Fishman just got dropped. <laughs> That's what Grubber said in the movie. He said, oh, Fishman just got dropped. Now, the satisfied unicorn said as she stood over him, her broken horn sparking and sputtering with electric energy. About this capper. From the terrified look on the face of the not-so-formidable fish monster, Tempest Shadow knew she was going to get all the information she needed. Stay tuned for Chapter 12. See you later. Bye.